Hi everyone, this is Daisy. I hope you guys are doing good. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you've been following me for a while, thank you for following me. Um, so I wanted to do this video to show you guys my June setup um, in my bullet journal that I'm using right now. Like um, like I mentioned in my previous video, right now I'm using the Stalogy A6 notebook as my um, bullet journal. And I did mention in the other video that the reason for this was that I'm almost going on vacation. And so I like to, during my summertime, I like to keep a very minimalist um, kind of like a planning. I don't um, have a lot of time because, you know, I'm out and about and stuff like that. So um, I just like to keep it pretty simple. So this is my June setup. Um, this is a little tab that came from one of those um, expandable coupon file organizers. And so I just cut it and stuck it on with tape and that marks my June, um, the beginning of my June. This is just the sun that I drew and it just says, hello June. And um, so what I have here is, so behind this is, this is like I, like I said, sorry. This is, this marks my June beginning. And um, here's my June log. So I just did a very minimal, um, very small, kind of like a monthly calendar here. I don't want it that big. I don't really need a big calendar here because like I said, I do have an Erin Condren where um, I mark all of my important stuff. And so it kind of houses everything important. And so my bullet journal doesn't need to be as um, precise. And so I just needed a small little monthly calendar and then I'm just marking it with little dots. And here I wrote down um, events that I know I have. And then I here I wrote Jurassic World um, because I do want to see that movie coming up. And then here I have some birthdays. And then here on the bottom, I wrote my goals. And these are just to remind me what my goals are for um, each month. So um, my goal is to just, these are based on my top six goals that um, when I did my goal setting um, video and I talked about how I set up my goals these are based on those six goals so my top six goals I decided to put my top six goals here to remind me during the month that this is what I'm focusing on which is my exercise time with God quality time with my husband me time time for my dogs and then family time and then here in the back of this one I have a budget that I created um, so this is kind of like my budget for June. I'm going to write down, I just put category and then amount. So I'm pretty much just going to write down what's my starting balance um, when I get paid. And then my sinking fund, I am starting a sinking fund this month. Um, I have been working on it for a while, looking at categories. I was inspired by Jen Plans, and um, she really explains it really thoroughly and um, what a sinking fund is. So if you're interested in that, I will definitely link her below because she was um, the video that I kind of like kept watching constantly over and over to get the whole um, concept of the sinking fund. And so I am going to start a sinking fund this month. And then I have my rent, credit card bills, cars. Um, we have two cars. Um, we have a personal loan and then we, I have a school supply loan that it's not a lot it's a tiny little loan but um, as a teacher we, I get it every year in case I need to buy supplies and then if I don't need, need it for supplies I can use it for any other things that come up um, and then my phone and then I put extra money in case like I sell or de stash items I'm gonna put it here here I wrote down some amounts so that's why I'm covering it up and then here I have like minus the spending. So it's pointing to this side because this is my spending log. And then whatever um, amount total I spend here, then I'm going to put it here. And then I'm gonna write down, I'm gonna subtract that from my leftover. So that's kind of like my budget, um, my overview. And then here I'm just gonna write down my spending log. Oh, not my spending item. So whatever I spend that's not planned for. Um, and then whatever is planned for this month. Um, so here I have a little happy face that says planned. And then on the bottom, there's a little sad face that says unplanned. So anything that I just kind of um, use money on and I wasn't really um, like planning for, I'm going to put it there, like a, put a little face there. And then here are my monthly bills. Um, I have it separated because um, I have like my account where I pay my bills and then I have a separate like savings accounts so I kind of like to separate that stuff and then I just covered up the amounts because you, you guys don't care about the amounts so I just put the names here and just to give an idea of what my month what it looks like how I have it set up and then here is my spending checklist um that I did have in my little pocket 
planner, um, my little ring pocket planner. And I so I just wrote it out here and I put a little tab here so I can um, kind of refer to it. And if I close this and I know that it's right here and I can see it, it's just a little money symbol sticker. And I just colored it in with a marker and put tape. That's how I make my little top tabs. So it pretty much just says, um, did you pay your bills? No, stop, yes, keep going. And it has all these questions like, did you plan this purchase? Do you need it? Um, will you still care about this next month? Do you know how you'll use it? Will it nourish your body? Will it nourish your create your creativity? What else can you do with this money? And the last one I put because um, I feel like I need to add it. Sometimes we buy things and we're like, yes, you know, I really wanted to buy it. But then, you know, a couple of days later, um, after you buy it, you kind of feel guilty, you know, you, you're thinking like, I shouldn't have bought it, you know, so that's the last question, you know, am I going to feel guilty about buying it? And so um, a lot of times it's going to be things that I don't need and I probably will feel guilty. So I want to use this because I do want to save more money and spend less. And then in the back of it, I just have my Friday and my Saturday um, plans. And then here I have my yoga and meditation tracker that I created. Um, here is like a calendar and all I write down is the amounts that I spend on yoga and then and then on the bottom I just put an M that's meditation if I meditate it I just put a check and then here I pretty much just kind of like give myself also like a little rating like was it a good week was it a so-so week was it a bad week bad week means that I really didn't do anything and then here is my Sunday plan this is today um, later on when my husband gets back from work we watch TV together so um, I'll put it there whatever I watch and then this is my list I created a list for the end of the school year because I am um, ending school on Friday <laughs> thank God I am so thankful um, this has been by far the toughest year ever in my 12 years um, if you guys want to know what happened I can totally do a video I can rant uh, um, but as a teacher um, seriously as teachers we put up with so much and you know we deal with so much on a daily basis and you know hats off to all of you teachers fellow teachers that are out there that work in a school um it's intense sometimes so i am gonna i might cry the last day <laughs> because that's how happy i'm going to be that the school year's over um i mean don't get me wrong i love my kids i really do but it's been a very intense and um, if you teachers out there have ever had one of those years where you're just like, oh, I might quit, uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. So you get me. Then after this, I have my weekly layout for this coming week. And that's pretty much it. All I did was I did little boxes with little arrows pointing down so that I can add additional notes right here on the bottom. And that's it. Um, that's pretty much for my June. That was the beginning of my June setup. And that is my layout for next week. If you guys want to see how I do my weekly setups um, or just like a mini video each week of how I set it up and what it looks like each week and um, I can do that. So let me know what else you guys want to see. If you have any ideas or suggestions, questions, put them in the comments. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye.